Hey YouTube, I experience you not here. I just want to do another Home Assistant video, just a quick one this time, a couple of minutes, um, to show you how to inspect your database using uh, PHP My Admin if you're running uh, MariaDB as I am. I'm using the MariaDB add-on. Um, and I did a move from uh, an M2 uh, SSD on NVMN SSD to an M2 SSD today and noted that my MariaDB was a gigabyte. So um, I wanted to have another look at uh, why my database was so large. So to refresh my memory, I went back and just researched how I did that last time. And um, I'm just going to show you how to do that today. So I'm going to go to the supervisor and what you would do is go to the add-on store and you just search PHP and you'll find the add-on there, my PHP and it is, it's a web interface um, for the official MariaDB add-on so you can only use it with that if you're running the, uh, the add-on and um, Frank is the man who maintains all these and does a fantastic job. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I've already installed it, but it's not enabled. So there's nothing over here in the side panel. So we'll just go to my PHP admin. There's no configuration for this. Basically, um, I just go show in side panel. Now we see a database icon there, and I just start it. That's all we need to do. And um, we can just run the refresh. We just want to make sure it's all going. And then all we need to do is click on my PHP admin and that will actually load the MariaDB database. So let's not worry too much about that for now. And I'm going to go to HAS OSDB, that's what mine is called, and we're going to go to the states total. Have a look at that, and that's got all your state changes in there. Then what you're going to want to do is go to the SQL tab, and we're going to run a query. So I'm just going to get rid of that, and then we're just going to paste in that query there, and I'll have that in the, the notes below. And so we're going to sort the states and group them by the entity ID, and sort them by count with the largest uh, count first and then all you do is push go and voila and what we can see is that I've set up a sensor for my garage door controller um, just monitoring the Wi-Fi RSSI level and <laughs> it's got yeah a bucket load of counts in there um, the other sensor I have is a, I've got a whole house um, energy meter which uh, works via um, TCP Modbus and that monitors the, um, the current and the voltage and the whole um, power use across the whole house and of course that thing's going nuts, uh, that's one of the sensors there, another one there for the frequency, another one there for the um, current that's being used. That's the total daily house power. So yeah, I need to do something about uh, tweaking it out. Um, so yeah, that's basically all you need to do. Um, head back home, it gets us back in. So we just went to states, uh, we went to SQL, and then we just get rid of that and then paste in that query and hit go. That's all you need to do. And then what I like to do, um, I just come back because I'm not using the add-on. Just come back once I've done that. Just going to go in and just stop the add-on. And I've got start on boot off and we can just remove it from the sidebar. And um, yeah, that is it. Uh, that is my... Um, don't need my ceiling fan on anymore. That is um, my PHP admin query MariaDB on Home Assistant. Thanks for watching. Uh, click the like button if you thought that was useful.